Hey guys, so my video for today is about her um, income and how she stated that she would not adopt if the kids, if they don't, if she don't get money from the for the kids. Um, I posted that on the ad battle for the markets, a battle for the markets. Please go follow that page and share the things that I post. Um, I want this to go viral because I keep saying share, share, share because I want it to go viral. I want people to know that you're not the only one going through this and I feel you and I will make this notice by the Department of Children and Family, especially in Florida. This is ridiculous. Um, she only makes on her own $300 and I'm not gonna say where she gets that from, but I know where she gets it. And it's crazy that that's her only income. And then she gets three, 3,500 for the three kids. Um, she's left over with $500 um, a month, 500 something. It's, it's on that Instagram, I posted her expense. Um, and the reason for me to do all this because I was scared to do it before, right? And uh, four years, right? I've been known this. Everything that I've been sharing with you guys, I've been known this for a while. Um, I wish I started this, you know, way back before, but they made it seem like they were gonna choose a family, like to believe it or not. Like the social worker, they changed social workers so that I could lose contact with them because the social workers know that that is the goal. The goal is to reju reunite them with families. So they keep getting different social workers telling them like don't tell her this and this you know and the foster mom has more rights with the kids she gets to choose when she wants to um you know reunite them with the family like have a bond and it pisses me off because the foster mom doesn't want the kids talking to us um she didn't want to even get to know me and um the reason for me to be doing these videos is because i want you guys to share it there's somebody out there that's gonna reach out to me. I mean, I already have people reaching out, which I appreciate it because I could help those families too. And I'm gonna tell them, hey, do the same exact thing that I'm doing. Like, if you got proof, it's the best. Like, just post it, don't be scared. Let's let's start talking. Let's 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 start sharing our story, everybody. Like, don't be don't be afraid. Um so I am concerned about her income. So let's say that the government decides or cuts a budget. How is she gonna do it? She's 62 years old. So how are you gonna go out there and hustle for those three kids? Because I know that I would do whatever to, so, to, to support them and my family. So I, I my mindset, I'm 30 years old, I'm a 90s baby man, and we go hard at what we do, um, especially for kids that, you know, they can't defend themselves. And especially my blood, <laughs> my blood related. Like I, no matter what, I, I got my family. So um, the first concern I posted a couple of days ago was um, that she's 62 years old and, um, you know, I, I was a little bit concerned about her age because, you know, if anything happens to her, what are the, where are the kids gonna go? Yeah, I know they go back to the system, right? And they age out of the system and they get thrown out on their own to figure out life. That's not right. So that's why we need to share this with the Department of Children and Families in Florida sees my video because I know that there's some good people in that department but probably don't know what's going on and those that do know what's going on it really upsets me because during our last uh, hearing the administration officer who's you know she's supposed to you know make a decision based on both uh, both sides the Department of Children plus me and she was concerned about well, why she hasn't been able to talk to the kids yet? Like it's been years, these kids are in the system. What's going on? The foster parent does not have all that right. It's a department, the, the child net, the agency. They didn't know what to tell her. So, and they still choose the, the foster mom because of the bond. That's all, that's all about, that's it. That's the only reason. 
while I'm over here, got the space, the love. I am young. I am going to put them in activities. I am going to help them in for their future. Like, what is going on? They're going to get to know their country, where their parents are from. Like, what is wrong with the system? This is ridiculous. You are, you guys are making the wrong decision for the future of these kids. She is not the right decision. Like, this is not right. Because those kids are gonna go back to the system. I already know it. Because her daughter stated on uh, one of the um, comments said, you know, how do you feel about your mother adopting three kids? She's like, I can't even imagine her adopting one and she's thinking about three. So if your family's starting to think like that, I don't want my kids, to, like, I don't want my nieces and nephew knowing that. That is horrible. So, and I don't even know what's going on over there, like at all. It's in Florida and I'm in Virginia. So I just, I, my head is all over the place, but I do wanna say thank you to those who are sharing my um, story and following my, um, my um, nieces and nephew page, um, giving me ideas of what to do. So I really do appreciate it and I just want you guys to keep sharing. So this video is about her income, which if the government does a, a cut on that budget, like how is she gonna manage to, to do what she gotta do? Um, and then the first one was um, her age, 62, and if something does happen to her, where would these kids, these kids go? Would they go back to the foster, uh, foster system? And who in the family would you know, adopt them? I don't know how that process goes. Well, guys, I'm gonna go get my vaccine shot. But just keep praying for me. And tomorrow's uh, video will be about what my new lawyer will say. Like, I'm trying to get another lawyer because my first one, she was really upset. And I don't know what's going on. So hopefully this new one is more, you know, experienced in this area this deep. Um, go follow my uh, Facebook page too, um, Danya Mora. I do have um, it's like a donate donation. It's gonna go all towards um, expense for the lawyers. And if let's say, for example, the Department of Social uh, Department of Children and Families Social Services choose her still after this court. Um, I could still push and put more money. Listen, this is expensive, but it's so sad because I know a lot of people can't go through what they're, I'm going through. I can't even go through what I'm going through, but I'm still doing it because there's a God and I'm praying for strength and I'm, I'm praying for hope that I can get them at the end of the day. So it's a battle for the moral kids. Let's all get together and help one and each other. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Bye.